Yo, what is up you guys? Today we are talking about the five highest paying programming jobs that you can make as a software developer in 2024. So every time we make a video about money or developers, you guys seem to eat it up. Everything about it, you know, making money, getting positions, networking, communicating, anything of these, the non-technical side of coding, you guys seem to love it. So we're doing it again for 2024. I might be a familiar face from the past for you guys. If not, then hi, I'm Aaron. Yeah, so let's just get right into it. I wanna make this really punchy and to the point for you guys so you guys can get maximal value in the shortest amount of time. Uh, let's get started. So I wanna preface this whole thing with a simplification. We're really ranking these positions by two factors. There are two deciding factors that we are using to determine whether it makes the top five list for the highest paying programming job. And the first one is this, the amount of money that you can make from it, right? Because I mean, money's important, right? It's not everything, but it, it solves a lot of problems. So we're ranking it in terms of the average salary that you can make. You know, some make lower, some make more, but also what you could expect to make as an entry level developer in that position. Number two is actually the amount of time it will take to become a software developer and get a position in that field. If you are a complete beginner, we are going to be giving you also the amount of time it takes to get that job. So those two deciding factors together, the amount of money you can make on average or as an entry level developer and how long it takes to go from a complete beginner up to your first job in that position, that's what we use to decide whether or not this made the top five list for this video. All right, now real quick, you guys, before I get into the meat of this video, we've put together a free 20 minute training that you can watch that teaches you how to become a developer leveraging AI, leveraging tools like ChatGPT or Gemini from Google. If you don't know what that is, it's basically Google's version of ChatGPT, many other AI tools that you can also use as well. But leveraging those things can actually really boost your productivity. So we teach you how to do that in this 20 minute training. We're also gonna be giving you three app ideas that you can build under five minutes using AI. So basically, if you wanna use this irreplaceable tool to become an irreplaceable programmer and developer in 2024, you kind of need to know this because ChatGPT and AI has really leveled the playing field. And if you're not on the bandwagon with this, can you do math faster than a computer? Didn't think so. In other words, don't fall behind. You really want to get on this bandwagon with AI. So uh, catch this free 20 minute training. Uh, link should be in the description and uh, I'll see you in there. I lied. So one last thing before I get into the meat of this video is a short disclaimer. If you're a complete beginner developer and you've never coded in your life before, or you have, you know, less than a month of experience, less than two months of experience, I need to preface this video with these are the average salaries that you can make from these positions and don't expect it to happen right away. You know, you might need to put in a lot of hours. You might need to study a lot. You might need to network more than other people. Um, some might get really lucky. Some might, you know, pull the short stick. So you're going to have to just really put your mind to it and really commit to this if you really want to make it. But what we can say is these incomes um, that are possible from these positions are very, very possible. And uh, they're not from anywhere. They're from a very, very credible source, which I'll get to in a second. And second, the average salary that we tend to have for entry level developers that uh, learn and get jobs from our channel is actually 70,000 US dollars. So that's not too shabby for an entry level position. If that can cover your life costs, great. If not, well, then you're probably going to have to put in a little bit extra work to get that up. That's just full transparency. 70,000 dollars on average is what you can expect to make maybe more maybe less hopefully more but just wanted to preface that video with that disclaimer so let's get started so now that credible source that i just mentioned we're actually going to be using builtin.com i'm looking at it right here and basically in, in short if you haven't heard about built-in it's basically linkedin but for startups and tech individuals and developers and stuff like that they started as a social network and blogging platform for startups uh, basically that's what it is it's a, so, it's a social network for developers they have a lot of data there they have the ability to actually search for jobs to find find employers to find developers. It's basically just a hub of really useful information for anybody in the tech industry or software developer industry uh, that might want to meet more people or get a position. So uh, that's where we're getting it from. They host a lot of surveys, uh, anonymous surveys of US employees. That's where we're getting our data. And we like that it is anonymous and US. So without further ado, let's get into the top five. So number five on this list is actually video game developers. So whether that's for mobile, for console, for PC, for Nintendo Switch or Game Boy, whatever it is, video game developer is number five. And let's just go over why that is. So uh, the average salary you can make from a, a video game developer, according to the survey, uh, these anonymous surveys that were taken from US tech employees and individuals and employers, etc., cetera, uh, is actually $116,000, uh, which is pretty awesome. $116,000, that's six figures plus. And um, if you look at this screenshot I'm throwing on the screen right now, you can actually even go up to $200,000 plus if you've really been in the game for a long time. Um, of course, you're going to have to work for that, but $116,000 average is pretty dang good. Now, well, a lot of you might be beginners watching this video, and I'm going to say this for all five of these positions in the video, but what is the actual average income that somebody can make as a beginner? So according to this 
this graph, again from builtin.com, is uh, the average salary you can expect to make with one year of experience or less is actually $95,000 as a video game developer. So I'm not exactly sure. Again, these are anonymous surveys, so take this with a little grain of salt, but you can pretty much guarantee that they're 90 to 95% accurate. You can take those numbers with a little grain of salt, but they're, they're more right than wrong is what I can say. Uh, it is a little bit strange that there is a discrepancy as to why you can make more as an entry level than not, but I mean, hey, if there's something in the uh, industry that's making that happen, um, there's a few examples I can think of. Maybe when you first start out, you're really passionate and you make a game and you make a lot of sales at the beginning, but then it falls off. So maybe it's kind of hard. There's like a drop off at the beginning, but then upwards, you can make a lot more down the line. Not really sure. Could just be, you know, spoofing the data. But regardless, I follow the data for the data. Um, and that's what these uh, that's what these surveys have shown us. So really great there. You know, your individual results will I can basically guarantee will be slightly different than what these what these say, um, but it should be in the same ballpark. So that's pretty awesome. So again, hundred sixteen thousand dollars average. That's before any bonuses or anything. And uh, ninety five thousand uh, dollars a year on average for uh, one year of experience or less. And also, it just sounds like a pretty cool job, to be honest. Can you imagine like making, you know, making the, your favorite video games if you're a gamer, whether it's FIFA, sports games, whether it's Call of Duty and shooters or uh, online, big online multiplayer games or really any kind of game. Um, I just think it sounds pretty cool. You know, you can work with a favorite team, work on your favorite IP, intellectual property. Um, and the other thing I want to mention is also as a video game developer, maybe you can go on to become, you know, the creator of a new video game that makes a lot of money. Uh, this doesn't happen a lot. You know, a lot of AAA titles, they have a lot of funding and whatnot, but a lot of indie games can make a lot of money with a very, very small team. So it really depends what kind of branch you want to go down in this space. Uh, but basically there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of possibilities, a lot of choices you can make, a lot of paths you can go down. Um, and they're all very lucrative and they all sound pretty fun to me. Now, it also probably would take you about 12 to 18 months to get a job in this space as a game developer. Um, if you're a complete beginner, uh, to work up to that average level income. Um, but that's not too bad. I mean, you can get up and running as close to maybe even six, 12 months if you really, really work hard and you have the right connections. But, uh, you know, more realistically would probably be 12 to 18 months. Moving on to number four on this list, and that is actually a dev op engineer. So before I get into the average salary and the beginner entry level salary of this position, some of you might not actually know what a dev op, uh, dev op engineer actually is. You know, video game developer is pretty straightforward, but a dev op engineer basically is you responsible for maintaining existing platforms, you know, things that already exist and make sure they run smoothly. Uh, whether it's databases, servers, like pretty much anything. It's just, it's short for developer operations. Think of it like a pit stop in Formula One. You might take things offline. You kind of like do maintenance on things and make sure everything's running correctly. And then once those things are working well, then you put it back out onto the market and then people and the users start using it again. So you're maintaining stuff. Sounds a little bit generic, but I mean, it's very, very crucial and important. It's like the oil. You need to oil things to make sure the things are maintained and running smoothly. So the average uh, salary, according to builtin.com, is $133,000 a year. Again, just like video game, um, there is an upper limit to that or an upper potential. You can make upwards of $300,000 as a DevOps engineer in the USA. Uh, and again, this is before any bonuses or anything like that. There's also some bonuses you can make, you know, you can make 10K plus in bonuses in this kind of position. You know, that really depends on the employer though, uh, additional compensations. But let's just stick to the actual average salary. So $133,000 as a uh, average DevOps engineer. But what about if you're a beginner? Again, if you're a beginner with one year or less of experience, you can expect to make $82,000 a year. That, I mean, that, that is the average for an entry level position. So it might, make, might be more, might be less, but hey, that's pretty good too. You know, it depends where you live. If you live in New York or Miami or Hawaii or Los Angeles, and it really depends how much your expenses are, maybe not. Uh, but if you live, uh, you know, somewhere more affordable, then that's perfectly appropriate for what you need. You know, if you're smart with your money. Do you need to be honest though, DevOp engineer, it does usually require previous software development experience because if you're maintaining and making sure a code base runs smoothly, you probably need some kind of experience to understand how it works to begin with. So to maintain it, you have to know how it works. So it does take a little bit more time to get this up and running, but if that's up your alley, then then go for it. Uh, do expect it to take around 18 to 24 months um, for you to actually get a entry level position in this uh, field, in this position as a DevOps engineer. Um, it just takes a bit longer than other positions. So, but it still made a list because of the amount of money that you could make. Moving on to number three on this list, and that is actually cloud engineer. So as a cloud engineer, you can expect to make around $138,000 as uh, an average income uh, based on the surveys from builtin.com with an upward potential of $190,000, which is pretty hefty. For somebody who's a beginner, what you can expect to make with one year or less of experience as a cloud engineer is actually $120,000. And that's pretty lucrative if you're looking to get a good high paying job right off the bat. 
that is a cloud engineer. If you don't know what a cloud engineer is, you know, I, most people know what working in the cloud means. I'm sure you as a viewer does, but just in case you don't, it basically means you're an architect for data on the cloud. I think like Google Drive or Dropbox or Apple iCloud or anything like that, anything regarding datas and servers and things that need to be uploaded and internet and download speeds and this and like crypting data and having everything together, like anything in the cloud, that's what you'll be doing. You know, automatic syncing to the cloud, those kinds of things. Um, that's what you'll be doing here. And it'll take you probably around 12 to 18 months to get a job as this if you're a complete beginner, um, just so you know the time horizon that you need to expect. All right, moving on to number two on this list is actually full stack developer. Uh, most of you know what a full stack developer is. If you don't, uh, it means you do the front end and the back end, hence full stack. Uh, front end and back end being the front end is the user interface, how it looks, the design, the buttons that pop up, everything and on a website, and the back end being the database. So like what data is stored, how does everything process? You know, like Amazon has a back end once you actually process the payment, all that stuff has to happen. How does it save your cart? Those kinds of things. As a full stack developer, you can expect to make around $147,000 as a average salary for the position, the upward potential being $260,000, pretty solid there. And if you have one year of experience or less, then you can expect to make around $80,000 a year. So still pretty hefty, not as much as cloud engineer or something, but still pretty hefty. And what's great about this is it's actually fairly easy to get this up and running compared to other uh, positions as a full stack developer. So you can actually expect to get up and running within six to 12 months rather than the longer, you know, 18 to 24 months of a DevOps engineer or something like that. Um, so if you really want to get a position quick, maybe this is the route to go. Uh, it's pretty great. All right, the big one. So moving on to number one on this list is actually a machine learning engineer. You'll basically be the brains behind building AI tools like ChatGPT or Gemini or Elon Musk's new Grok AI that he's using on Twitter or X that is going to be renamed as. Um, but basically anything AI related is going to be something that you can be working on. And AI is a huge pop in area in the world right now. Um, it's leveling the playing field. It's making everything faster. Um, so being one of the minds behind this is actually very smart. So as a machine learning engineer, you can actually expect to make around $155,000 a year on average. That's average. That's that's six figures and a half on average before bonuses. You know, with bonuses, you can make uh, close to 200K. And the upper potential of this, um, you're really getting close to $300,000 a year. So pretty hefty incomes there. Like, I don't know what you want to do with all that money, but you can do a lot of stuff with, a lot, with all that money. The average salary that you can expect to make with one year of experience or less as a machine learning engineer is actually it's already six figures. It's actually $100. $20,000 on average around there, according to the built-in surveys. So pretty hefty is there as well. So the reason this is number one is because you can make so much money and it's so future-proof and AI is just a really popping tool that's so powerful. It really, really deserves a spot as number one on our list. Now, that pretty much wraps up this video. The top five highest paying programming jobs in 2024 that you can make. The number one spot, machine learning engineer, is pretty fancy. I like it. <laughs> Honestly, like I, I, I would probably choose that personally if I was gonna get into um, the space. Right now, I'm doing some YouTube and, and other kinds of things. I used to be a developer, but not anymore. But that would be my first choice if I were to do that. So anybody who is interested in going down this route of being a developer, I would highly recommend maybe even shooting for that. Why not shoot for the stars and go for big number one? But if you really want to make video games, make video games. If you really want to be DevOps and you know make stuff run smoothly, do that. Cloud engineer, do that. Full stack developer, do that. That's the beautiful thing about life is you can do whatever the heck you want. So uh, make your choice based on the information that I just gave you. Um, feel free to do whatever you want with it. But finally, uh, I do want to invite you to uh, something if you would like to pursue pursue a career in software development. And if you really want to learn how to become a software developer with the help of AI and ChatGPT in 2024, um, then we actually have a free 20 minute training teaching you just how to do that. So it teaches you how to use ChatGPT and tools uh, similar to that and any similar tools that will exist in the future regarding that on how to actually boost your productivity and your code quality uh, because ChatGPT is jacked. It just, it makes less mistakes. It can help code things for you. You seem to be the mastermind to actually put this together. Uh, but really get on the bandwagon here, guys, because if you don't, you're going to fall behind because other people will. So very, very crucial skill leveraging AI to actually code. And we have a free 20 minute training teaching you just how to do that. Uh, link in the description, go click that and check it out. And we'll be giving you actually, like I said at the beginning of the video, three app ideas that you can make using AI in five minutes or less. Yes, five minutes or less because ChatGPT basically does all the scaffolding, all of the basic foundational coding, and then you can go in and polish it on top if you want after you've learned all these coding skills. That's it, you guys. If you really want to become a software developer in 2024, go watch that training. Again, thanks for watching this video and I will catch you in a future video.